Yo, Crypto Nation and Mining Family, what's going on, what's up, what's up, I see we got John Jermaine in the house, yo, he's like, I don't own any stream decks, that's fine, I don't recommend anybody to do what I'm about to do to this, this poor, unsuspecting little piece of hardware, and this, this thing is going to get slapped a little bit here. So basically, it's for testing purposes. Um, be, you know, doing it for just a, a little bit, not long. I just want to see where it where it snaps its hash rate up to. Okay, that's all I'm planning on doing with this one. Um, <clears throat> so I figured out how to get into uh, the Linux OS on this, uh, which is kind of cool. I like that. Uh, pretty easy actually. I didn't even see the option for it. Um, I. Don't really. I didn't even really play with it for a whole lot, and um, looked up uh, how to set it up into the Linux OS on here. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, the only thing I have never done before is I've always built XM rig uh, from the Light OS. I've never actually done it in in actual GUI. Uh, so this will be a little bit of a learning curve for me too, guys. I have never done this before. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm used to just like remoting into something and just fucking building it. It, for some reason, it fucking works better when I do that. I don't know why. Um, if I have to, I will figure out how to remote into this Linux wise. I don't know because like, I don't think I have... We'll see how much they got this thing locked down and how much I can't do anything with it. Um, and we'll go from there. I think that's gonna be the big deciding factor on this bad boy here, guys. Yo, what's up, Crypto Crag? Yo! Um, and then, I don't know if you, if you guys have ever tried to get like wireless headsets to connect in with your PC or a laptop. I know PC side, this was not straightforward to get it to hook up. And then when I got the hook up into it, um, there's like an antenna that was supposed to be with my computer and I never hooked it in. That was half of my battle. So I was like, okay, plugged in the, the, uh, the, 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 the antenna on it and then it started to see this. So I was like, okay, cool. We're halfway there. So I get it to start working and I'm like, all right, cool. But I'm noticing there's just like this big lag between this and whatever I'm watching. I was like, what the hell? I'm like, I can tolerate it, but it's massively noticeable. I'm like, I can't game like that. Um, and then I sat there and kind of played with it a little bit more and realized that, you know, this t just today I was playing with it and I opened up Streamlabs with these on and all sound stopped. I was like, wow, that was interesting. I've got no more sound. I'm like, that's a new problem. <laughs> and it's only when I opened up Streamlabs, turn it off, sound comes back. I'm like, okay. So I'm like going through and I'm like looking at all the different settings on there and I, and there's a setting on there that, you know, programs can take full control of device needed um, instead of sharing it with everything. So, I, but I, I like block the, uh, uh, the, the, the microphone on this. So this wasn't interfering with anything just in case that was it. Then I went and try to point it at this and no no it didn't it, it, it just wouldn't let it go through and then i unselected the priority on, on programs and as soon as i did that boop sound came back on this bad boy i was like oh now that's nice and i'm like now i want to fucking figure out why this thing has got a delay on here so if you ever see it and you you put the you you pair them to your computer, your laptop, and you notice that window in Windows specifically that this bad boy is uh, lagging, uh, you know, like just a few seconds, like like a half a second behind on everything. 
So you go back in the settings and for the sound, you go into advanced set, uh, sound settings and um, you go into the properties on this thing and you take the windows enhancements off of it. Just fucking take the enhancements, clean off. Basically, you're gonna put this into basic mode and volume is volume on the computer. Whatever you set the volume for is what you're gonna hear it out of here. Um, and it still lets the pass-through work. So by default, this thing will allow a little pass-through. So when you got these in, you're not, hey, can you hear me now? And you got super, super loud blowing out people's eardrums because you've got earplugs in and you can't hear anything. So I do like that little feature that it doesn't like muffle me to the point where I start yelling. Um, and we already know how loud I can get, right? 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 Um, I'm just saying I know how I know how my voice carries. <laughs> <coughs> That's why I don't use uh, wireless to connect my rear speakers to my TV. Uh, it was just like little, uh, little, little, little things, you know. And uh, yeah. So, unfortunately, or fortunately, it took me two days of me going, man, I hope I didn't just waste my money on this. I mean, it wasn't all that expensive. It's just a Samsung uh, Buds Plus. So, I mean, nothing special. I just wanted to be able to use this for my gaming side. Um, so, if you ever run into issues with your wireless earbuds or, you know, whatever it is, there are ways of getting Windows to play nice with this all around. It's, it's just, I wish it came into the instructions going, you know, hey, if you are experiencing X issue, it is a known issue, X, Y, and Z, fixed. You know, <laughs> <coughs> not that you got to go Google the stuff and find, get onto some forums with uh, other people experiencing the same issue going, oh yeah, you do this. Uh -huh. Uh, I didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> I didn't know that there was a priority thing. I'm like, wow, man. All right, fixed. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, a lot of fun with that one. So now I got everything set up for gaming. Um, and it's like, and I haven't messed with it on the new OBS updated. I was afraid to even try to see if it, if the fix worked on OBS side. So I'm keeping this thing closed for right now and set off to the side because it's not going to do anything as long as it's not open. The thing is off. I'll let it stay off. <laughs> what up, mining? Hello. It's like I'm doing my grocery shopping. Nice, nice, nice. Got to put that food on the table. Uh, but, anywho. Uh, like I have been doing this whole time, which was sounding the alarm on this, going, hey guys, pay attention to your payout dates. Um, I will be saying this every time I live stream until it happens. Um, <clears throat> and, like I was also saying too, guys, Remember how I was showing on the last stream that there was like about a 24-hour discrepancy depending on where you were looking at? And I was like, until we start getting closer, the closer we get to uh, the the merge block date, uh, time, right? We're going to watch all the data start coming together and starting to agree a little bit more. And remember how uh, nice hash was the, the one that was like dramatically off? from the rest and I was like, I bet you whenever they get a little closer, the they will adjust things for what they're seeing in real time. And that's exactly what I've seen. <clears throat> so now uh, a nice hash is only 12 hour discrepancy between lock native and nice hash. So like I was saying, as it comes down to it, uh, all the times are gonna start agreeing with each other. Awesome. Woo! Damn! 
love tech, man. <laughs> it's like tech man sliding on in here going, happy Friday, brothers and sexy mothers. Yo, <laughs> that's what's up. <clears throat> It's tonight at midnight, he's gonna cash out his, his eater mine and switch to solo. He's gonna try to hit one block before the end of Ethereum mining. I will say, when you switch him over, may Satoshi be on your side. May your, your hash be high and your watts be low. May you hit that mofo block. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> He's like, I'm on a solo mission. It's like, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission from Satoshi. <laughs> Getting the band back together. <laughs> oh, too funny, too funny. But, yep. Guys, pay attention. Um, if you are just getting a payout and it takes you six days to get a payout, you might want to consider switching over to something else so you can guarantee that you're not wasting your uh, your electricity. Unless you're like Tech Man and you're like, man, I'm on a solo mission. I I'm going to roll that dice. <laughs> and I, I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Uh, and we have our uh, first uh, confirmed leak of uh, the RTX 4090. Um, there is at least three new uh, titles uh, from it looks like Gigabyte. Um, so the uh, Windforce 3X, which we—I mean, the, the the naming the naming scheme on them were already. I mean, it's like one of those things of, duh, right? <clears throat> C completely one of those, duh. <laughs> um, but it, it's like the uh, the skews are matching up with what they're what they're saying was what was was going to be coming out for uh, the WinForce Three X, uh, the Gaming OC, and the Aurora's Master models, um, all equipped with. 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory modules, of course. Um, they are going to be the two gigabyte variation, so they're only going to have memory modules on one side of the PCB, um, unlike how the uh, the 3090s uh, were before they went to the, uh, the TI variant. Uh, they had memory on both sides of the PCB because those were one gigabyte uh, GDDR6X memory modules. Um, with the uh, with the second generation of them, they consolidated a little bit and were able to fit two gigabytes in the one in the one silicon, uh, which is nice. Uh, but it still creates a massive amount of heat. Um, so these things will still be heat monsters on the memory side. Um, but because they have um, everything a little bit more optimized with with placement, um, PCB and the cooler can actually dissipate the heat. Uh, more effectively um, so there are good things to how they have it set up with this um, <clears throat> actually I'm thinking about running an ergo node to do solo mining that's what's up crypto Craig it's like kick that California ergo is mining as well oh, yeah, it is hells yeah I mean, it's pretty much we're we're all gonna be testing the waters and figuring out where where we could put our hash rate that's gonna give us the most satoshis per watt. I mean, that's the name of the game at the end of the day, right, guys? Right? That's what I'm saying. Uh, so <clears throat> we do have some performance leaks coming out also, and we have a confirmed price. Um, leak coming out all the way from the lockdown country of Australia. Um, the lockdown country of Australia has has a massive leak that came out. Um, basically, we are going to be looking at uh, for the 4090 gaming OC. 
you're gonna be looking at $2,916. Yep, that's USD, brothers. USD, $3,000. Right after they sat there and just like, you know, quietly kicked everybody in the, the cojones about, you know, anybody that bought the uh, GPUs at the pandemic height are now being basically punished for that and there's now cheaper GPUs out now artificially dropping the price per Jensen and then they're coming out with these new cards that are going to be at inf inflation premiums it's like this this is this is some really nice market manipulation here I gotta love it gotta love it man so you're looking at a three thousand dollar card brand new nice <laughs> it's like mine and how holy fart damn that's high it better be two times profitable compared to the 3090 ti now this is where i fucking love where this story goes and and, and this is this is how marketing goes and this is how marketing goes when you're dealing with marketing with fanboys. And now I'm running a 3080 Ti, okay? I run Nvidia. I will say if you want, if you're a hardcore gamer, you're gonna probably want Nvidia. Am I gonna sit there and like cherry pick some information out just to prove a particular point? Probably not. And here's where I'm talking about. So. Y'all are talking about, uh, uh, here is benchmarks on the 4090, guys. Um, so the graphics scored was 20,192 in uh, 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme, which really pushes the, uh, uh, the envelope on the ray tracing and all that good stuff. Uh, so they're, they're basically claiming that it is... Uh, 78% faster than a 3090 Ti. They and, and they're cherry picking this one, big time, big time cherry picking because a 3090 Ti is maybe maybe five to ten percent better, if that, over the 3090. So you're really getting a nominal bump over a 3090. So I'll, I'll put this into the same category as a 3090 because. A 3090 Ti hits as hard as my kingpins, okay? So a 3090 can can reach the Ti status without having that double stack memory module in there. Um, it's just a matter of how good the silica was when it was soldered to the board, all that good stuff, right? Um, so, but to sit there and say that, you know, 90% faster than, than uh, uh, the 3090, uh uh that's that is total cherry picking of uh, of information right there okay uh and yes the 4090 is going to be a bump in performance but not a 78 percent not a 90 percent no now if you sit there and i go i'm gonna overclock this gpu but you when you run your benchmark, you have to leave it in its stock configuration. Don't even flip that switch in the overclock mode on your card if it's available. You're not allowed to do that. You have to leave it in standard mode and just run the uh, the Time Spy Extreme, and this is your score, right? That's basically what they did. Um, they 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 basically took one that was not even performing all that well. Um, just because I myself, with my 3080 Ti, I've hit near these numbers already with my GPU. So, with that being said, they're definitely cherry picking and I leaned on mine to get it up there. So I was right on the coattail of the 3090s myself. But, you know, it's like I'm playing in 3090 territory, but no way i'm reaching up to the top of that list with my card no way even if i put ln2 under this you know single card mode on 3d mark 
even with that lens too, I'm not I'm I'm not snapping up as high as the the 4090. Or, I mean, it's not 49, the 3090 or the 3090 Ti. Um, I can play on its uh, on the coattail of the the lower performing ones um, as long as it's not you know air air cooled to air cooled. I'll be you know at at least I know I got my 3080 Ti that's water cooled into the top 20 on the. In, in the 3090 uh, air-cooled class. Uh, nowhere near hitting LN2 status, right? Uh, and I know that the next level of where I was at was LN2 status. I mean, I, I've got it in the best configuration you could possibly put it in for, for a, you know, to be able to run it as a daily driver, right? Um, so basically what they did was they, again, they... This 1285 is a lower benchmark of a stock card, and they're pitting it against uh, an overclocked card. How do I know it's overclocked and they're dealing with a stock GPU? Here is the, the, the frequency of the GPU that they are comparing against, 1312, which isn't even the full boost clock uh, uh, overclocked, uh, versus a card that's supposed to be like 2.5 gigahertz they're running this at 3 gigahertz this is overclocked that's why there's such a big gap on there stock a little under stock you know this is like a bad performing card period this is one that's like that's like th thermal throttling doing this test um versus you know or or somebody who put a bad overclock on there uh versus somebody who did a massive overclock on this thing right um it's like it's yeah i i totally do not agree with this in any way shape or form uh, because like you go over to the time spy 3d mark here this is just 3090 ti's right the top score of a 3090 ti um which it's not telling me if it's a kingpin or not i'm gonna probably say that this is a kingpin um this was probably also uh I, I would say LN2. Um, I would say this is a professional overclocker. Um, but you're looking at, uh, let's see here, core clock of just under 3 gigahertz. We're at 2.8 gigahertz, right? So that would mean that the uh, if you're going to pit apples to apples on this one, you know, you're looking at a 3090 Ti being you know, 20, 20 to 25% less in performance. I mean, to, to, to be realistic, if you're not cherry picking your information, and I'm going to the Hall, Hall of Fame on this one, right? Uh, where, they're, where they're cherry picking down to is, let's see here. No, even if you go down to a, a, a lower score of 12, uh, uh, of 12, 820 the person was still running their core at at 2.2 uh, gigahertz you know this is a badly performing 3090 um so yeah i would probably say that this guy didn't do a very good job of overclocking or it's thermal throttling whatever it may be you know you got one guy he's in the top 13 so they started looking at 13 13 and down for their overclocking but for what they cherry picked out, actually, is a, is a, is completely stock, uh, ripping out and, and pitting apples to app. You know, uh, uh, we're gonna we got a we got a round hole and a square peg. Um, so that it's just cherry picking more in my my. That I hate when people do this. <laughs> uh, so that <clears throat> dang. Well, my 3080 Ti is only making 85 cents a day on ETC. Yeah, that that is that is a little rough. Ouch. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean it's it's gonna get bad out there for a little while. I mean, um, I believe that the difficult uh, the difficulty's been raising on Ethereum, um, and they're not gonna they're not gonna reset the difficulty bomb. They're not pushing nothing back. It's full steam ahead. Uh, they're they're at that point where they're like, well, do or die. We'll figure it out if we go out as we go, guys. 
uh, and talking about something that we're going to figure out as we go, guys. Uh, let's check out this. Yo! This is the Steam Deck for anybody who um, hasn't caught a stream from a couple days ago. I got a Stream Deck in, guys. So, what I plan on doing... Is... Trying to see if I can get this thing to mine some of that Monero, guys. <clears throat> like mining Monero. So I gotta fire this bad boy up. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's that's a good reflection right there, you know. Mining some of that busy bit. <laughs> it's like, yep, mining some of that Monero. Yep, yep, this is how long it takes for it to boot up every time. This is not the, the fastest processor. Probably not the fastest uh, memory card on here, too. So, yeah. And while we do all of this, I'm going to go ahead... I don't care. I just want to have a little extra juice coming in. Yeah, I don't have my fast charge. The fast chargers in the mining room. <laughs> this is what I usually put my phone on too, because like I just plug it in overnight. Uh, all right. So they said that if you hit the power. Oh. Oh. Okay. So let's so I go here and I go power right. And it says, hey, switch to desktop mode. We're switching to desktop. I've never seen desktop on this side, yo. All right, let's see how this works. This is my first experience on desktop side. All right. Hey, here we go. Got got some of my icons here. And go into documents. This folder's empty. So the drag function with the touch screen, actually the touch screen works pretty decent for being Linux. All right, I, I dig that, I dig it. I wish this was a little bigger, but it is what it is. Uh, all right, now I gotta pull up my documentation. I know. How come I can't get? Uh, I, I like I said, I have not done anything here. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Mm -hmm. How come? Oh wow, this little touchpad is so sensitive. How do you get keypad? You know. Keypad? Hey, now this is a dirty little trick. I got no fucking keypad. Oh, you're kidding me. 
I know what it is. I don't have a, I don't have a keyboard for this. Why doesn't this give me a keyboard? I thought this thing was like had like a touch screen keyboard that I could that it would pop up. Oh, this this video will be really short if that's the case, and I got to get an adapter for my shit. But it looks like I've got no keyboard. All right, I'm going to try something real quick here. Loading. So Firefox opens up. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't have a type C keyboard. And I don't have a type C the USB adapter is all I would need. Do I have such a thing? I probably do not. It sucks. They give you such limitations on what you could fucking use for this thing. Ah! Oh, this is so poopy. I've only got USB style. I gotta order an adapter. I told you this is how we're gonna do this live, real time. I was not kidding when I said that. You gotta be kidding. Why? Don't have an adapter. Mm -hmm. See here. Uh, let me see if Bobby has one. I'll be right back, guys. Give me one second. Oh, I love being in a tech house sometimes. Oh, a little adapter. Uh. All right. Oh, it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Now I can pull up some. Now I can pull up my notes over here. Da, da, da. That's the, that's the Windows one. Yeah. 
Minor Hill. Oh. Yeah, the hell did I do with it? I'm just trying to find my stuff. What the hell did I do? That's the Marlin build. For the 3D printing stuff. Windows side for sure. Damn it, where's my notes? Move it over here. No. Mining programs. That's where I've got that stuff at. Oh, there it is. Found it. It's the Pine 64. That one. Yeah, go. Oh, is that the right PDF? Oh, yeah. That be correct on the PDF. Hmm. All right, let's see about this. Let's see about trying to get this thing to zoom in and focus. I don't know how well it's going to do. Um, looks like I'm getting oversaturated with light. Uh, but I kind of need it. All right, so I can... Because some of this, what's really nice about it in Linux is like a lot of what I do for the uh, the Raspberry Pi is the same thing you're going to do here. Uh, so not, a lot of this stuff will not change, guys. And I'm just going to get this thing to boot up. Uh, I'm going to leave a dev wallet on here. Just let it, I'm going to boot it up, let it mine, see the hash rate it actually slams out. Um, we'll see if I can get this thing to actually do what I want. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. So, PD. And how you can always tell when you're doing any kind of Linux, um, you're going to backslash, right? And then. You can press the first letter of what you're trying to type in. You can hit tab. If you are correct, it'll fill it out for you. Um, so we will go back to home. Oh, nice. All right. You get 800 kilohashes. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll be happy to see if this thing gets like 400 hash. <laughs> Um, I, I don't have big hopes on this one. Yeah, that's right, Golden Wolf. What up? All right, so. All right, so. Uh, 
Home. And then we're gonna do sudo I don't know what the password is. It did not give me password for sudo. Uh, let's see here. I gotta go see if there's any, what's in the paperwork. Hold on, guys. Could be one, two, three, four for all I know. How to boot it up. All right, we have El Emmanuel. If anybody happens to know what pseudo is? Please let me know as I sit here and try to figure this out. Cleaning. This warranty. New language. German. Italiano. I hear that told me absolutely nothing. <laughs> Gotta have something in here saying something. It might be rude. I'll try. I will try that tech, man. I, I'm willing to try anything at this point. I, I, I'd hate to have to like kill the video right here. That would kill. That would definitely kill the video if I can't get into this. Nope, it's not root. Not valve. And it's not pseudo. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's try that. Nope, I probably did that all wrong. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. One, two, three, four. Nope. <laughs> I'll try admin. Nope, not admin. I've tried root, I've tried admin, I've done one through nine, one through four. I didn't think about this. Uh, let's try.
not Steam, not Valve. Not deck. I never installed it, unfortunately. Uh, go to desktop mode in the settings. Yo, what up, Gundy? Hey, what's going on, Pocket? This is interesting. Yes, I'm trying to get the Steam Deck to mine Monero, but it's being a pain in the butt. Let's see here, hold on guys. Let's see if that did it. All right. All right. <clears throat> so. Let's try this. Make a directory for XM 
Brig. <laughs> Probably between now and never. Uh, so it, it wants me to change it for that too. Ah, uh, damn it! I've got a mouse. Hold on here. This point and drag thing is kind of obnoxious. Ah, uh, much. I'm much a better butter. Oh. Just I'm starting. did what I think I did. I think I did it. We're about to find out. I'm going into unknown territory. Oh, I didn't want that one. Oh, now I got the, I have this. Oh, I can do this now. Here, oh, this is so weird. Not sure if I like this dolphin. Open oh, turn. All right, now we're gonna see if this works. So. What the hell did they... Okay, I don't know. We're gonna do it this way, so it's gonna be... I'm trying to figure out... I'm not sure the next thing I'm trying to figure out... So...
All right. It did. It took. It accepted that. Oh, CD. For change directory. Now we're gonna go home, and then X. We got XM rig. Now I'm in the XM rig directory. Let's see if it's got Git. Git clone. Now we're going to find out if this thing's got Git on there. Oh, it's got Git on here, guys. Oh! Oh, we're in business! Woo! ED. Home. Tab. XM rig! Oh! And now we're deeper into the rabbit hole. Alright, here. So now I've got to get the libraries down on here. Oh, this thing, like, already up. I, I updated it before starting the stream. <laughs> Alright. Uh. You build it. Hey, what did I misspell something here? Dudo. You don't have, you have git, but not get. Uh. <laughs> Sake of game gear. <laughs> Let's see here. Which means I need to install Git on here. Git is not here. Hmm. All right. Get 
get on here. So, what I thought it was. Let's see here. Different call out. No act. Huh. I'm going to have to figure this out now. And then get back to you. Because, yeah, for whatever reason. Gets there, but not get. There's no apps. Means the callouts are different. It's a different flavor. I don't know my callouts. Oh damn it! <laughs> oh, not cool, guys. My my get command and my apt command is not working here. Actually, might have me partially locked out of here. I can't figure out what the command is because it won't let me update. Well, this is weird. I know that's what I'm like trying to see is which loader and compiler that I can try that will work with this.
with the olive then. Oh, wait a minute here. Can I just replace that with... Can it be that easy? Hmm. We're about to find out here. <laughs> okay, instead of that... Things have got different colors. things I try to learn this one I didn't realize was running a different OS than what I'm used to and I had all of my stuff is made geared up for more uh, pure Ubuntu or Ubuntu like uh, stuff so I will probably have to call it here, guys, um, and do some. It's a GNOME variant. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to sit there and figure out what the hell all the callouts are for it. Uh, because usually when I've got a big change like this, um, not all the libraries for Monero will work in the playground. So, um, I will figure this out. Yeah, I need to load the Paxman compiler first. And if that's the case, then I, I don't have the live, if it's Pax, uh, Paxman, I don't have the library for this. 
Uh, there is no uh, library for it. They've never never made one for it that I know of. And I'm not a back-end coder that can make the fucking library like that. Um, I can ask. I might know somebody that might be able to help me out with it, uh, but no promises. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure something. I'll, I'll, I'll at least tell you what my what my brick wall was, or I'll tell you what the hash rate was, and I'll bring it back on the stream and I'll show you it hashing. Okay, guys. Um, so I will try to figure that over the weekend. Hopefully, I can figure it out over the weekend. Uh, but yeah, if it's Pac-Man, I'm there's no the. Uh, the library I'm looking for doesn't exist in Pac-Man. Oh, you're all good, Gandhi. You are all good. No shit. Son of a tech got it. All right, I'll have to... I'll get a hold of him. He's a friend of mine. He's cool, peeps. Um, yeah, I will fucking get a hold of him and see how he did that. Um, he's the one, he's one of them that helped me out getting it mining on my, uh, mining Monero on my Simple Miner OS. He's who helped me out on that years and years and years ago. That was like four or five years ago. <laughs> Something like that. Don't soak your boat. You know it. You know it. Um, so yeah, I will get a hold of Son of a Tech and fit in, and, uh, Ask him how he did it, um, and go from there. Um, otherwise, I've got a, a Linux. Uh, uh, my my wife's youngest is actually um, he he's pretty good at uh, coding, um, and he's really good with Linux distributions. Uh, so he's used to being able to work his way through it. So I'll either ask I'll probably ask Son of a Tech first, since uh, you say that he had it uh, mining on his. I'd like to know if th how well this one does, because this is a third gen uh, uh, Steam Deck. So, <laughs> it's like, dang, we old. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shh. I don't want to hear that talk, Gundy, saying we old. Shh. Shh. Got that mouth of yours. <laughs> I'm not old. Don't look at the fucking gray hairs, okay? I'm not old. I need a nap. No, just kidding. <laughs> <sighs> so, I'll get this thing. I'll, I'll figure out how to do this. Uh, I'm not a very big coder. I, I tell everybody that I'm not a coder. I like playing with hardware. This is hardware. I'm going to get it mining, guys. It, it will happen. If Son of a Tech got it, I'll bounce it off of him, uh, and I'm sure he'll help me walk through it, just so that I can make some make some content, okay? I want to make some content with this man. Um, so, yeah, we'll get everything going, guys. Um, so stay tuned. Definitely smash that Lizzie like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, just a few extra miles. Yep, yep, yep. Ain't that the truth? So if you guys got any other comments or questions before I head up out of here, uh, definitely check out... Uh, copy. Definitely check... If you haven't done so already, check out uh, my other sub-channels for gaming. If you guys are into gaming content here. Um, one's my YouTube site, and this one here is Twitch. Um, so definitely, if you're into co gaming content, I'll be uh, hopping up on here in a little bit, uh, doing some some of that glorious gaming. Mm. Get, getting some of my sim racing on real quick for uh, a live stream again for DCA Adventure. Yo. Where it's not about the, it, it, where it's more about the destiny, uh, the the adventure than the destination, <laughs> DCA. So, yep. Thank you guys for being here. 
Um, if you guys are wanting to get a part of the family mind, definitely check out the Patreon links down below. Uh, be, get into the VIP tier um, and you too will be part of, the, you'll have early access to the family mind, either be on my side on the Patreon here or on DCA, DCA, your mining uh, tier or higher. Um, but you have to be part of the DCA, uh, your mining on on uh, DCA side, one or the other. You don't have to be on both, just one or the other. Um, so whichever one you choose to be a part of, if you want to have early access to the family mine, otherwise you're going to have to wait and hope that on the first location we've got enough room for you. The room will be filling up quite quickly, I suspect, guys. 100%. I suspect. Room will fill quick. Woo! <laughs> It'll be nice. Um, so definitely check all that good stuff out. Um, and I'll definitely check in the next one. So peace out. And of course, stay savage. Yo!